The book of Hebrews chapter 11 is known as the Great Hall of Faith in the Bible. Inside of this chapter we find uh, several people from the Old Testament mentioned, people be mentioned because of their faith. We find Noah, we find Abraham and Sarah, we find Abel, and so forth. Verse number 13 of this chapter speaks of all these people, says that they all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country, that is, in heavenly. Wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he hath prepared for them a city. You think about Abraham. As Abraham was called out of the heathen, God said, leave, leave your family, leave everybody you know, leave your life, everything you're used to here in the middle of the heathen people. Leave these and go into a land that I will prepare for you. Well, Abraham left because he trusted God. We find that Abraham, according to this passage, could have had opportunity to have turned back and went back into the old country, back into the old life, uh, back into his old surroundings, what he was used to. But he looked apparently for more than um, a country called Canaan, the country that God promised to him and to his descendants. But instead, he looked for more than that. He looked for a heavenly country. He had his eyes fixed past Canaan, fixed towards heaven. We find here that these people could have had opportunity to have returned back to what they were called out of. But because they had their eyes on a better country, they did not even want to turn back. I would like to ask you today, if you know Jesus Christ is your Savior, why would you even contemplate the idea of turning back into what you came out of? Now, it crosses our minds. It crosses our minds. I can't help but deny that. Um, I can't deny that. It has crossed my mind as well. But when you sit down and think about it, why, with such a good life of Christianity, why would you want to go back? Maybe you are saved and you have gone back. You are living according to the old life that you have left behind at one time. You have went back and you have started reveling in that old lifestyle. You went back. Why would you want to do such a thing? We've got a good life now if you're serving Jesus Christ. And we've got an even better life to look forward to in the future. A heavenly country. Why would you want to go back? And for those of you that don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior, I would like to let you know that it is such a wonderful life serving God that you have no real reason to even look back. But instead we have our eyes fixed on what is to come, knowing that it, for a Christian, it gets better and better and better if we stay serving God. So if you're not saved, get saved today. Get to serving God because it is such a wonderful life. It is a lot better than what we left behind. It is a lot better what we have our eyes set on. And if you're saved, don't let the temptation take you to go back. Instead, keep going forwards. Press toward the mark.